A new way to revitalise the lacklustre nightlife in some of our biggest cities has been suggested. It's to have a nightmare. And no, we're not talking about a bad dream, but an elected official to improve the social and economic benefits of a shrinking industry. And a warning, Alistair Lynn's report contains some violent scenes. It's an industry that brings in around $2 billion every year, but it's nights like these... <laughs> Local councils are trying to avoid, but are the actions of a few ruining the fun for everyone else? In some cities, there's no chance of entering a pub or club after 1am. Some people are afraid that someone somewhere in New Zealand might have fun. Think Tank, the New Zealand initiative, insists local alcohol policies are too restrictive instead of enhancing vibrant and safe nightlife. Closing times have little to do with alcohol-related harm. Just because you're closing earlier doesn't mean you're solving the problem. A new paper suggests incentivising new visions for nightlife, tackling alcohol consumption as a health issue, and appointing nightmares. The nocturnal officials may sound bizarre, but it has worked overseas. Amsterdam appointed its own in 2003. Alcohol-related violence is something which is, which is definitely also connected to the nighttime economy. We manage by working across stakeholders to get that down by 25%. It's hoped this kind of initiative will create a more profitable scene. Some in the industry say it's sorely needed. Overregulation, the inability to trade longer, um, and so it's not an easy industry to be in and be quite surprised how many bar restaurant owners actually earn less than the minimum wage. Police wouldn't comment on the suggestions made by the New Zealand initiative but say they are open to discussions with local councils to ensure people are drinking in a safe environment. But for now it's sorry no entry for any changes to local alcohol policy. Alistair Lynn, News Hub.